We're buying a pizza shop. DNS from California. This is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. And folks, this is your show. This is the most interactive show we have for you here on Holton Wise TV. We partner with you to make a, a series of a video or a series of videos to help you build a real estate portfolio. And what we're doing today, I'm working with uh, a husband wife team out of California. We're going to call them D and S. They are, uh, you know, looking to remain semi anonymous here, which that's another, you know, huge reason to get property managers, guys. I don't know if anybody uh, is aware of this or not, but, uh, you know, the way things work in uh, America these days is property managers, landlords, property owners, we seem to get vilified quite a bit. If you're not familiar or that sounds like something that's new to you, why don't you just go ahead and check out uh, my appearance on Netflix? Netflix. I was on uh, Netflix recently, and boy, did uh, you know some of those folks really give it to me. So I totally understand uh, the desire to remain semi-anonymous. So DNS, you guys are doing a 1031 exchange, okay? You guys have been investing uh, for you know close to a decade. You guys are doing a 1031 exchange, and um, truth be told, I'm like slightly confused by what you got going down with your financing here. Uh, so I did not um, break down the numbers of this property in regards to a cash on cash return, assuming financing. I just stopped at the cap rate because I'm not familiar with the terms of your loan. And we're doing commercial stuff right now. So, you know, that's fairly common because the, the loan terms are totally, you know, they're crazy, right? They're out there. They're, they're, there's so many different options. So usually I just do the cap rate because I, I you know, I, can't really estimate exactly what your loan terms are going to be because I don't know what you got going on. But what you guys have going on is you have 60K in cash. You're doing a 1031 where you have to finance the property and you needed the property to be between 160,000 and 375,000. With that parameter in mind, you told me you wanted to be in B or C and you wanted to do minimum four units, the bigger the better, right? But remaining uh, in that little price range there. So uh, just one thing so you know, with that in mind, the pickings are slim, right? You guys have like really narrowed it down. So we don't have like a million uh, things to choose from, but what I did find for you is something that's pretty cool. I think you'll like this. I'm very familiar with this building. I actually almost bought this building a couple years ago. 5318 State Road, Parma, Ohio, 44134. This is listed at $225,000. This is a mixed-use building, right? It's not just a pizza shop, right? I know you guys are not uh, you know, trying to buy pizza shops, right? You're out in California. No. We have a pizza shop, a barber shop, and two apartments, right? Both uh, apartments are here. So this is a duplex, right? You got the duplex on the side street, and then off of State Road, you got the pizza shop and the barber shop. And like I said, I actually almost bought this building a few years ago. When the current person who's selling it now... Uh, when they bought it, I was bidding against them, and they outbid me. And the listing agent, they're using the same guy. He was the listing agent back then. Uh, DePiro Real Estate Services is who's selling it. Okay, so I've actually already toured these units. Uh, they were one of them was vacant at the time. the The barber was there. The pizza shop was there. I've actually eaten there too. This is freaking great pizza, man. So, uh, you know, that's one thing to look at, right? If if you're uh, if you're buying a a mixed use building right like this right and one of the tenants happens to be a pizza shop i highly recommend uh you or somebody you trust try the pizza if it's shitty pizza you know you got a problem but these folks they've been there for years man probably 15 20 years that pizza shop's been there the pizza's awesome um so that is good right that would be horrible if they uh had crappy pizza right you know they go out of business there goes your rent check so this is listed at two and a quarter okay but I don't want you guys to pay two and a quarter. I don't think we need to pay two and a quarter. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a long shot, but hey, 
This thing has been listed for quite some time. I happen to know what these folks paid for it. They they bought this thing for a uh, a song, man. I think they bought it for like it was like one thirty, one twenty five. Uh, that was like three four years ago. I was bidding on this with them. I think it was like twenty fifteen is when I was going against these folks, right? So if they sold it to you at one seventy five, they're still gonna walk away with some profit. You know, you may have to pay a little higher than one seventy five, but I'd like to see you get it at one seventy five. Now, as far as the rents. We have a one bed, one bath unit. They're getting six fifty. That's market rent. They have a two bed, one bath unit, which is paying less. They're only paying five fifty. That's not market rent. We should be able to increase that up to seven fifty. Okay, seven fifty is the market rent for that unit. And then you got the pizza and the barber. They're both paying four eighty five, I believe. Um, the way the listing agent set up their listing is he gave us the total rent breakdown and he gave us the individual two and the one bedroom unit breakdown. Uh, he didn't individually list uh, the rent of the pizza shop and the barber shop. I believe they're both paying the same. It could be a little different. So that uh, in totality, right, the 45 plus the 485, I think that's like 970. In totality, that's what you're getting out of those two units. Yeah, we sent him an email. He haven't got, he didn't get back to us in time for us to make this video. But I believe they're both paying 485. But you know, one might be paying 500, the other might be paying 470. But we know the actual rent roll though is 2,000. 170, right? So things bringing in 26 G's a year. Now, of that 2,170, what's it going to look like as far as performance goes? Well, we're going to factor in 60 bucks for repairs and maintenance of those uh, two residential units. You don't really need to worry about repairs and maintenance inside the commercial units. The commercial tenants are going to handle that. But you got to worry about vacancy, not payment of rent, right? Even though both of those tenants have been in there for a long time. I don't know if you guys are familiar with commercial. Uh, typically, right, your tenants, they stay a long time, right? We got like, you know, 15, 20 year tenant in there, but when it does go empty, it's going to sit empty for a long time, right? So like, uh, you know, an apartment, right, that goes empty, you know, within two, three months, boom, we got you a new tenant. You know, we could do a rehab, get you a new tenant, right? It only takes about 30 days to get a new tenant for a residential unit after it's already been made rent ready, right? That's quick. That's easy. As far as commercial goes, that's that's different, right? You're going to see really long lengths of stay, right? You probably ain't going to get a 20-year tenant in a duplex, but, you know, within 30 days of that unit being ready again, you'll get a new tenant. As far as a commercial business goes, you're going to get many, many years out of them if the business is successful. But then when it goes vacant, you know, might be looking at like a year or two to get a new tenant in there. So you still got to factor in vacancy, CapEx, taxes, insurance. Uh, just so you guys know, it's in the show notes below, but we own a farmer's insurance business. We are licensed to insure people coast to coast. Doesn't just have to be here in Cleveland. So anybody out there with rental properties, if you're interested in uh, possibly lowering your rate, click the show notes below. Let us quote you today. All we do is landlord insurance, guys. Now, the insurance on this particular building is going to be a little bit high than what you'd normally see. Now, if we were doing like a pure apartment building in this price range, the insurance would probably be a little lower. But once you add in commercial tenants, it gets a little higher. But here's the thing. Uh, I know you guys were looking for pure apartments, but you guys have given me such a very narrow scope to work with. There's really not going to be a lot. So we have a lot of mixed use buildings like this uh, in the Cleveland market. So you're probably going to see um, if we stick to this uh, criteria here, this price range, you're probably going to see a lot of things where there's two apartments, four apartments, one storefront, two storefronts, things of that nature. As a matter of fact, I'm doing another video for you guys, a separate video, which has your second property in it. That's got four apartments and two storefronts, right? So after I send both of these videos to you guys, we'll probably get them out to you same day. Um, after you guys get both of those, you know, if you guys really don't like the fact that it's mixed use and you guys want to make some adjustments to your criteria, we can do that. But sticking with what you got, such a, a small window for me here and the housing stock we have available, that's that's what we got, right? Back to this building, the water sewer should be 300. Lawn care, I've got zero written on here, but here's the thing. Just so you guys know, let me pull this up. All right, right here. Now, 
we have this teeny, teeny, tiny little patch of grass, right? Uh, our normal lawn care costs is $44 a month on average. We got to cut between 16 and 18 times a year. Obviously, we're not cutting January, February. Anything under like a, a third of an acre is the same price, right? So the fact that this is like really teeny, tiny, it's probably only like eight feet wide or something like that. The fact that it's smaller than like a regular yard don't matter, right? You're not necessarily paying me per blade of grass. You're paying me to actually get the truck, get the team out there so i wrote zero on here if you do nothing uh you're gonna have to pay 528 dollars or so a year for us to maintain this because even though it's small still grows can still get cited by the city what i recommend doing since it's so small though i say we just get rid of it right let's just put some more concrete there you know you spend a couple grand for us to pull that out you know put concrete there put uh, put rocks in there or something like that so you don't have to continually pay us to cut it so i put it at zero but if you don't do that work you're gonna have to continue to pay us to cut it because you will be cited by the city lastly property management 217 so of the estimated 2170 coming in every month we are estimating 1233 goes back out the door leaving us with an noi of 937 if we pick it up at 175, which I think we got a good shot, maybe we got to pay a little bit more, but um, I think they've got this listing overpriced. It's been on the market for almost uh, a year now, and I know what these folks paid for it because I was bidding with them when they bought it originally. So, you know, I don't necessarily know if it goes through, but, uh, you know, it's a good shot. I don't want to see you pay list, though. I think that would be overpaying for the property. I'd rather see you not do the deal than overpay, right? I'd rather you not do the deal than pay two and a quarter. Um, so if we can get at 175, great. That'd be a 6.4 cap right now currently. But don't forget, we got meat on the bone because that two-bedroom unit, we can get that up to 750. And truth be told, uh, the pizza shop and the barbershop both paying 485, right? You could realistically get that pizza shop up to like seven, eight hundred, but you know, I don't want to sell you on that right now today because hey, man, we're just coming out of COVID, um, so like. Today is not the day you go to your commercial tenants and try to jack their rent up. So maybe something to think about down the road. 485 is really cheap for those. But uh, I don't think, you know, just being pragmatic, looking at the state of the world right now, I'm not going to sell you on the idea that, like, next month it's a good idea to jack up those guys' rent, right? That wouldn't be smart. So uh that's this particular property like i said in addition to this video uh i'm already going to have a second one ready for you and then we'll take a look at both these uh videos both these properties and we'll kind of go from there because i know it's a little bit different than what you've originally requested but uh again what you've originally requested it's just such a narrow scope i don't have a lot of inventory to work with so uh let my team know we'll go from there and real quick everyone else who's watching this show if you guys are interested in working with my team one-on-one -on -one just like this go to holdwise.com i want you to click the property search for sale tab and you got a couple options right you could buy off the investment properties for sales show that is less personal than this uh, but you do get more information on the properties because we've been hired to sell those properties so we go in there with our film crew and we show you everything we can on the property. We go check out the mechanicals, all that jazz. And then you just bid right off the show. Uh, we typically get multiple offers because we are the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland. Um, so you got to be ready to rock, man. I, I recommend you be like a seasoned investor on that because there's not a lot of one-on-one -on -one work with us. You're just you're bidding against a whole bunch of other investors who watch that show. You got to have your ducks in a row. You got to have your financing ready to rock. The second option is what you see here today. That's the MLS search and analysis show. We got all the packages here. They range in price. We could do just one property. We could do a package of properties. Uh, what DNS are doing, they're doing this 10 property package, which I think is the very best thing for you to do, especially if you're a new investor. It allows us to work together for the long term to build your portfolio. You tell me what you want. You tell me what you're looking for. I go out there. I try to find it, the best stuff on the market. And it's not stuff that I'm being paid to sell. I don't I don't put my own properties on this particular show. If it's on the investment properties for sale show, it ain't going to be on the MLS search and analysis show. When I do this show, I work for you and I work for you alone. We ain't trying to put together win-win deals here, right? My job is to extract as much money as I can out of those sellers and put it in your pocket. So we can go back and forth, just like with DNS, right? They're looking, uh, you know, they didn't say anything about mixed use, but with their criteria they gave me, I had to bring them some mixed use stuff, right? So we're going to go over that 
And now that they have a little bit more information on the Cleveland market, because remember, they're from California, right? That's what I'm here for. I'm providing information as well as deal flow, right? So now that they're going to have a little bit more information, I'm going to get more information from them on the direction that I've gone, and we're going to be able to do the next set of properties slightly different. Or maybe they love the direction I went, and we're going to purchase this property. That remains to be seen, but that's why this is the very best package we have for those new investors who are really looking for somebody to like walk them them through the market and build up their portfolio one property at a time that's enough out of me folks as always i'm james wise with holton wise and this is real estate investing made easy this is your show this is the show where i work for you directly taking your needs i'm going through the mls and i'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.